Hey guys, it's Cassandra Morgan, and today I have a Gwynny B review for you. So this is a ruffled polo shirt by Land's End, and as I've said before, I'm trying really hard to get out of my comfort zone with clothes, so I'm trying all of these like weird, strange things that I would never ever wear to see if maybe they will look better on me. No, sometimes they don't. So, um, like I said, this is the Land's End Ruffle Polo Shirt. And in case you can't see it, here are the ruffles. Now, the model in the photo has it all unbuttoned in the top like this and makes it look better. So, I had tried, well maybe, just because I'm not a model, maybe it would be better if I buttoned it up. Now first off, these buttons are super, super small, so it's hard to button them to begin with. And here is what it looks like buttoned up. That looks like a school marm, doesn't it? Yeah. So the pattern is interesting, it is intriguing. It's got these little, uh, I don't even know what to call them. They kind of look like faces. And so that's kind of cool, but I think it's a little overdone in the pattern. Um, the ruffles has to go, absolutely has to go. It is a very 70s look. This all buttoned all the way up. No, it looks awful. These little tiny buttons, they're even on the sleeves. Um, it's extremely difficult to kind of button them all by yourself. I had to have my daughter help me with some of these buttons and that's a little embarrassing. I'm old enough that I should be able to dress myself. Um, and other than that, like, it doesn't, there's no real shape to it. And I get that I am plus size, but Gwynnie B is aimed at plus size girls. So there's no reason that it should look this baggy on me. Um, so how do I think that we would fix this shirt? Uh, ruffles, gotta go. Absolutely not. Stay in the 70s ruffles, don't ever come back. Not a good retro look. Um, maybe if it was fitted a little more in here, like I'm sure if there were some darts or something to pull that in, that would make it look pretty amazing, I think. It's kind of hard to see with my hands there holding it. It would give it less of a ballooning look. Um, I think even if we did that, the pattern could work. We had put some, some little darts in there to bring this bust in. Like, look at that silhouette. Doesn't that look so much better than this? Like, look at this. <sighs> Looks like a tent. Um, get rid of the buttons. Different buttons. Not these little tiny things. Even if you want it to do something like the, like something small, put a little design on them. Like, do you see these? There's nothing to them. I don't know if I can... They're, they look like flat buttons, something that you would see on um, like Civil War soldiers or something. There's absolutely no design there. Get rid of the ruffles, put on some really nice buttons, nice buttons that people could actually use. Um, shape up the pattern or shape up the shirt a little bit better. Other than that, the sleeves are nice. The uh, weight of the um, fabric is nice. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It would be perfect for an office setting, which is where I work. I work in an office, so this would be pretty good. Um, maybe bring the length down a little bit. I know it's hard to see here, but it comes right below my hip line. But, um, I mean, that could be workable. It, I'm a short girl, so it probably works for me, but if you're taller, that's mm, it probably isn't going to work too well. So I guess that's it. What do you think about this shirt? Do you think that this looks attractive? Please tell me that you don't. Um, again, here are these awful ruffles. It's a little hard to see. Look at this collar. They're even on the collar. Oh, that's another part, the collar. Don't button it all. Don't bring your buttons all the way up here. It looks very school marmy. Um, at least with this kind of pattern, at least give you a collar or something like maybe a fold down collar would be nice with it instead. 
Um, so tell me, what do you think? Do you like this? Would you wear this? Do you hate the ruffles? Do you still live in the 70s? No. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my reviews, comments, thumbs up, subscribe, you know all that stuff. You know it. You can find me on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram as Dear Cassandra Morgan and over on Twitter as Cassandra Morgan. And make sure you check out my blog, Cassandra-Morgan.com. You'll find all sorts of giveaways and product reviews and all sorts of things over there. You definitely want to check it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.